Hello everybody, how are you all doing? It's Len here, what is up? I wasn't expecting to film a video today, but yeah, as you may have seen from the title, I have done a little bit of DNA testing and I just got the results in. I haven't seen any of it yet, but I wasn't going to wait an another day or so to read my results because I've been waiting for these for a very long time. I'm not only talking about the test results, but I've been waiting to know about me for a very long time. So let me start at the beginning. I got this test off Ancestry DNA, where you order this test online, you receive this little box and you get a tube, you have to spit in and send it off through post to the Ancestry lab, where they will read your DNA. That's where you lose me, but you, they read your DNA and they can see where you come from, where your ancestors come from and their origins. I don't think that it goes like really far back, but far enough for you to get a, you know, an idea from where your ancestors have traveled and around the world. Yeah, super interesting. I think Ancestry DNA is one of the main ones who does it. There's also 23andMe. Uh, I think 23andMe goes a little more in depth about more, maybe more the medical side of things. And I think there's more to it, I think, than just origins, but it wasn't accessible to me, or maybe I misunderstood, but it seemed that it wasn't accessible to me here in Europe. So I went with the this one, which was just easier, and I think maybe even cheaper. I don't remember, but there was a good reason for why I chose this one, but I ordered this early December, so it was a while back. It's now early February, and the results are in. So why am I doing this test now? Because 2017 is pretty much over. I know DNA testing was a huge trend back then, and I'm a little late to the party, right? Well, I've been wanting to know about my origins for years now, because there's a huge question mark on my grandfather, on my father's side. I don't really know where he's from. I don't know why we never talked about him. I never met him. He was gone before, uh, before my time. But we never really talked about it, and it's not like it was a taboo, but we just never did talk about him. So there are a lot of theories, but I still don't know for sure where he came from. And it's something that I really want to know. So I am mainly Belgian. Um, I'm, on my mom's side, we are from Belgium. And I'm also mostly English from my father's side, except for that big question mark, as I've mentioned, on the grandfather's end. Um... So yeah, I've been wanting to know for a long time, wanted to buy this test for a while now, but I've been putting it off for some strange reason. It's... I'm not even sure why. It's not like knowing where I come from will change anything about me, I don't think. But if that's not the case, then why do I need to know? Why not let it be? Why not leave it as a great big mystery? I don't know. So yeah, I've been putting it off, but today's the day. I feel like I'm procrastinating. Let's let's just do it. I've got my computer open here on Google. Oh, it just turned off. <laughs> let's go to my emails where I got the thing about ancestry. Your DNA results are in. Okay, you're about to discover your ethnicity estimate. Get a unique look at your family's journey through generations and maybe even connect with long lost relatives. We're so excited for you! Explore DNA results. Okay, did I click that right? Come on, load. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Asia? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ethnicity estimate, Europe West, 45%. So that's probably my Belgian part, which is not fully 50, which I thought I was like at least mainly Belgian. Europe West, 45%. Asia South, 26%. My brother had a theory about that one, so I'll have to tell him later. 26%, there's nothing South American in there, like nothing. Great Britain, 6%. Scandinavia, I love that, 6%. And then there's low confidence regions, like South Europe. Yeah, but that's like 4%. Europe South, Ireland, 4%. Melanesia, 
2%, Asia East 2%, Europe East 1%. Okay, let's click on Europe West. Primarily located in Belgium, France, Germany, Netherlands, Switzerland, Luxembourg, and Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. Asia South. Primarily located in India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka. It's absolutely bonkers. <laughs> I could cry. It's like, I didn't know it would feel so weird like this. Like, uh, India. That is so so weird okay great britain of course england scotland wales i thought there would be way more than six percent i identify i fully identify as english even more than belgian even though i'm not fully english i, I thought i'd at least be like 30 percent or something english but Great Britain, 6%. Also Scandinavia, 6%. I'm as much Scandinavian as I am British. Well, seeing how tall I am, Scandinavian... Uh, yeah, it's really cool. I love that, I really do. But oh my god, I was... I have lived 26 years of my life thinking that I was from Brazil and there's nothing American about me. Nothing. It doesn't even... Nothing South American, I mean. Like, nowhere. Or my, my ancestors have been nowhere near America. Not Canada, North America, South America, Africa, nothing also. I'm Asian. Guys. I'm Asian. <laughs> I love my English side and it's like the weakest side of me. I love it. No. Come on, English side. I love an English breakfast. I totally identify as English, but now I guess I can identify as English and Scandinavian. So yeah, guys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's like all my life I thought we were like, my grandfather was... Everybody said he was, like, from Georgetown. And all along, we were from India or Pakistan. Oh my god, I need to call my brother. I'm gonna see if he picks up. He probably won't. Um, but, oh my god. Hang on, hang on. Coucou, je te dérange pas C'est parce que j'ai les nos résultats de DNA. Ah cool. Voilà. Okay. Bah, on n'est pas du tout, du tout du côté américain, même pas Brésil. Ok. 26% Asie du Sud. Je, je me disais bien, hein, c'était en même temps, c'était un peu euh, obvious quoi. Mais pour moi, c'est pas obvious parce que tout, toute notre vie, c'était ouais, il vient de Georgetown, on est brésilien, machin, alors qu'il n'y a rien de ce côté-là quoi. Maintenant, tu peux dire, hey, I'm Asian. <laughs> okay, so he wasn't that surprised, but I mean, we're Asian. <laughs> okay, I need to process all of this, guys. Okay, I'm really hot. My hands are really cold, so that feels nice. Feels nice. I'm gonna need to read all of this, like there's a little history about what the people around that time have been doing and I need to read on that and I'm gonna call my mom also, see if she picks up and oh my god <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna edit this video together because it's like all over the place, it's a huge mess but wow, 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 wow so yes, for me it wasn't really a, a follow the trend video even though I know it does make it for quite an entertaining video but I wanted to know this for my entire life and now I know that I'm 26% Asian. I'm really disappointed that I'm not more English because I really identify more to being English than I identify to being Belgian. That's just me, that's just how I was brought up I think like English people rule. Okay, I need to go tell some people. I need to go tell people.
Oh my god. I hope you did enjoy this video because it is kind of weird and <laughs> yeah, I hope you yeah. I don't even know what to say. I'm like baffled. Okay. Cool guys. Well, <laughs> I know already all. I'll see you very soon in another video. Sorry, this was kind of like impromptu surprise video, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you left a thumbs up right here. No, that one. <laughs> right here, down below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do because, yeah, fun times, more content. I'm hyper. I need to go chill out. See you guys very soon. I'll already all. I already did that, but. Oh, <laughs>